Hello Cup Counters and welcome back to Surviving Artists Magica. I am your host Magis96 and this is episode 80. 80. We have done a lot of episodes on this and the, sh the fun is not yet over. We still have a long way to go. I know some of you are questioning like, hey, you've killed the Ender Dragon. What else have you got to do? That's pretty much the end of Minecraft, right? Well, no, it's not. We still have a lot of stuff in Ars Magica that we have not even touched on. There's spells that we haven't got to. There's Ars Magica equipment that we haven't created. And there's <laughs> there's this, these neat little creatures that we have to start trying to catch or and using for other things. So we still have a lot more to do. Right now, we are building the stairwell. We're going to finish the stairway to the Ender area. And then after that, I plan to go into the end again to do some Enderman hunting. Yes, that is exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to hunt the Enderman. All right, so first things first, we need a crafting bench right here. Boom. Second thing we're going to need is to break down all this wood to make things. Now, we're going to take this crafting bench. I'm going to put it right here. Boom, there's our crafting bench. Right at the top of the stairs, right? So we're gonna use that crafting bench. Let's go ahead and make our stairs. Just like that. So we'll have four left over. I don't know if that's enough, but hey, whatever. We'll we'll work with what we got, right? Do 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 do. Yeah, I don't think that's enough. I think we need some more wood. I think we still need some more. I think we like might get this one side most of the way up. Seriously? Seriously? For real? Oops. Well, that was totally unintended here. Let's fix that, huh? Shall we? I did not mean that at all. Sorry. Sorry. I, I'm so sorry, man. I fix it. I fix it. All right. That is Indiana Jones. I have a co-worker that whistles it all the time, so it's just kind of like stuck in my head now. You know? Kind of like, what was it, that one song I used to sing or used to whistle and hum? Uh, it was from a toy at Walmart when I worked there. So now I've got the Indiana Jones theme song stuck in my head permanently. Oh, look, we did finish one side. So now we'll be able to get most of the other, some of the other side down. I don't know if I, I wouldn't say most. Let's see, we were from 42 down to 12, so that means 30 something. So we'll only get at least a third of this done. So we'll only have to get like maybe one more tree, one more spruce. Yep, see, there we go. So one or two more spruce trees ought to do it. Let's go cut some, cut down some trees, huh? They're over this way. Yeah, they're not that far away. See, look, you can see them in the distance right there. Rather easy to get to. There's a lot of them too, by the way. Look at that. Oh, look, I left one down. One down. All right, so we're going to plop this one on up there like that. Put these branch tree limb tree things out right there. Yep. You get over here. And use the area of effect dig power to break them all out real quick. I like how that works, don't you? Let's do a couple more trees real quick. Oh, oh thank you. Jeez. Eh, well, maybe one more tree. Maybe one more tree, yeah. Good enough for me. Oh, we got a whole bunch of these, so let's, let's, might as well replant. You know, might as well replant. That's what I'm always saying. Replant, replant, reforest.
There we go. And I replanted. We're good. Get up there. Get up there. Come on. I ought to put my water things back on. That'll make me jump right on up. Plot that out. Boom. Oh, we got more than enough now. Look. We'll be carrying some stairs back home. Oh god, yeah, we have way, way too many stairs now. Which is okay. That's all right, because we brought a stack and a half with us, so or something like that, a stack and a portion. So now we're bringing less than a stack back to the house. So that's all good. There we go. All right, let's go on down. Now, the next thing I want to do, there's two different things we could do. One, I can build what is called an ender farm. That We'd have to build it uh, like a whole bunch of blocks away from the ground in the end, which is fine. We could do that. Or I can just build a, a, a quick ender a thing, just a quick thing for fighting the enderman, which really is all we need. Look, I can do stairways here, too. That would, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? Yeah, let, let's do that. Let's, let's break break some of this out here pop that up right there I think we have enough stairs to fill this on up so at, we won't be carrying any home after all we'll just build them here in the ender Real. Punk. All right, so it looks like we are. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, punk. Come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Yeah. You know you want me. Bring it on. Bring it on. You know you're still pissed. Come on. Did not mean to look at you. For real? Let me tell you. Let me tell you something here. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to come up here. We're going to get up here. We want to build a nice little platform. And the idea is that we get up on this platform and use the platform for you know like stand in the platform and just look around at the endermen and, and lure them to us is essentially what we're going to do and it's going to be an easy easy thing to do i mean we, right up here we can just stare at them and no big deal and we're going to build it right here check this out so we can do this right here We can stand under the platform without them actually hitting us. Here, hold on. We need some more. We need a couple more here. You know? Perfect. Now, we're going to go ahead and break this centerpiece out here. And now we are ready to start our feud with the Enderman. So we can just summon them up here by looking at them, and once we look at them, they'll tick them off and they'll come run into us. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Oh. 
They don't like this. They don't like it at all. All right, let's pick another one. To show you something. See that thing right there? Yeah, that's one of those little twinkle creatures I was telling you about. We will be capturing those at some point and using them. But look, we have 12 Endermen, Ender Pearls. I think that's good enough for now. Let's go ahead and go. And there is the Dragon's Egg. Now we can pick that up using Silk Touch. Actually, we have our Silk Touch dig we could use to pick it up. We're not going to. Now, every time we get hit on that, we, it, it goes through the, the whole end spiel, the storyline and credits and stuff. We don't care about that. We're done. I need food. We need food. Oh, I have raw chicken. Let's, let's cook that. get that raw chicken cooked up, huh? Throw that raw chicken up in there. Now we did that not so much bingo there we go we didn't do that so much for the ender pearls but we did it for the experience really but the ender pearls were a bonus needless to say as you can now tell we do have plenty of ender pearls and i did accidentally cook up three pieces of charcoal so we're going to take that out here and throw it into this other furnace and at some point we might actually use this other furnace instead of using our mana but there we go see and it's fully stocked and ready to go at any moment and if we check this look fully stocked ready to go This way, put that away, put that away. Now at this point, I really don't have a plan of what to do next. I, I haven't thought it out, um, so I don't know. Uh, let me think here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go take a look at our book. I think there might be some other equipment like this that we can create that we haven't done yet. So let's go look at blocks. Arcane Reconstructor, Arcane Deconstructor, we've done that, we've done that. Astral Barrier, we have not created an Astral Barrier. Um, I'm not going to actually create this, but I'm going to show you what it is. I'm, I'm going to let you see what it is. Essentially, when you're playing, remember, we have teleport spells or something like that. Astral Barrier will help prevent that people from teleporting you into there. Um, here you can read this. When walking the void, one must be aware of barriers, projecting an ethereum aura through a spell focus. These barriers resonate at a special magnetic magical frequency dictated by a keystone. Without the proper matching keystone, these barriers will destabilize your magics and force you out of the void. Should the astral barrier not have a keystone present, its magic's frequency will fluctuate unpredictably and no amount of keystone can protect you from its effect. Several dark magi raids have been foiled and several light magi have been captured due to their failure to spot the barrier in time. Remember, you have certain things like um, there's a random teleport spell. There's also uh, the spell that lets you flip into in and out of the, the, the void, not the void, the, the, in, the, the nether. 
They let, there's spells that let you flip in and out of the nether. There's spells that let you teleport. And there's mark and recall. Well, these will help, will prevent those from working. Obviously, it makes no sense to have them when you're on, on a one-player game. Because there's no enemy, no, there's no NPCs that's going to use those spells. So you don't have to build the Astro Barrier. But if you need one, it is four cobblestone wall, two venium dust, and the eye of ender. It will also take lesser focus, standard focus, greater focus, keystone. Uh, you can put the focus in to adjust how it's done. Like you can read this little thing here and it'll tell you exactly how it works. So you can make it go up to 15 blocks with the greater focus or by extended to five blocks with the lesser focus. A barrier will stop teleportation, teleportation into its radius. Oh, including Ender Pearls, Blink, Mark Recall, and Enderman. So that is one benefit to using it in in one player game is you can build your astral barriers in and around your base to prevent Endermen from teleporting in there. Honestly, all this time we've run 80 episodes. I have not had a problem with with Endermen teleporting into my base. I know it can happen, but it doesn't happen all that much. And I actually welcome it, because then I'll kill him. No big deal, right? Seer Stone. Now, this one's an interesting object. We can craft this one. I can actually show you what it does. But mostly, a Seer Stone is used to generate a redstone circuit whenever something comes in line. And as you can read through this, I'm not going to read through it for you, but you're welcome to pause and read through that. But whenever certain things, like whatever focus you add onto it, you can put a player focus or, or a monster focus, I think you can add onto it, something like that. Whenever something steps in line of that thing, it sends out a redstone signal. Personally, a seer stone is great for automated doors. Like if you've got, if you're using pistons to open and close doors, you can use a seer stone to detect when a player steps in front of a door and have it open it that way. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, let's see, Califactor, we're already doing caster blocks. I don't do caster blocks, um, but it's not showing what a caster is. So let's go back. There is a caster rune. Uh, caster block, a caster pretty much, you put a spell in it and it casts that spell whenever it gets a redstone signal simple right like you can attach that to the seer stone to create traps yeah i don't know we might do that later i don't know uh let's see crystal markers this is for chris this is for the flickers we will get to that at some point not necessarily today essence refiner we've seen ethereum conduit we've seen everstone i have not shown you everstone this is an interesting one um do, do, do. so let's go ahead and let's make some everstone because we can we can use this down there. I think that'll be a good usage for Everstone. It's right there. We can put some Everstone there and break it up. Whatever. That's that's a good idea. So let's go ahead and make some. Now see it takes two Chimerite, two blue topaz, and a regular stone. And that makes one piece of Everstone. So to do that, we're gonna need one, two, three, four. Let's grab four of those bad boys. So Eight of those. I want eight. I want eight of those. All right. So put the stones in the center. Put the chimerite on the sides. Put the blue topaz top and bottom. That makes ever stone. Now we're gonna go ahead and break this up and show you how to use Everstone. Let's pull out our dig spell. So we're gonna dig that up. That's gonna create more light in here for now. But then we're gonna plop that in there just like this. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Shoot. Um I think I need a crystal wrench to break that out. I'm pretty sure I need a crystal wrench. Oh, yep, crystal wrench. 
Let's go get our crystal wrench. I put the Everstone in the wrong place. The only way you can pick up Everstone is with a crystal wrench. So you need that crystal wrench. Pick that up, plop it down, put this right there. Seriously, did I just for real? Why is that stoned? There is no stone around you. You should not be stoned. That makes no sense. Why are you showing up as stone? So to break every stone, you do need to use the correct item. Like in this case, I'm using my hand. My hand is not technically enough to break every stone. So I need a ram. <laughs> this is not going to work. Obviously, that's not going to work. So. For real, stop it. Sheesh. Now, the Crystal Wrench has two modes. I don't remember what the two modes are. Oh, wait. Yeah, it, it's like if I was to lock it. So, like, I can select that and then shift click and then it'll lock it to, to that uh, object. So, I can use it to another object. So, there we go. All right, so I didn't use the Everstone, but I, I did show you what it does. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and make... Let's make a pickaxe. Seriously, come here. Come here. I only wanted two of you, did you? All right, so we're going to make a pickaxe real quick. And show you what I'm talking about with the Everstone. Urgh. All right, now let just hypothetically. So we put that there. I can't pass through here because the Everstone is sitting right there. Now I could take this pickaxe and break the Everstone. Seriously? You're supposed to be broke. Why are you hurting me? What the heck? Well, that's just not working right. Dang. But you're supposed to be able to break the Everstone and pass through it without damage while it's broken, but it's obviously not working correctly. So, I don't really use it anyways. It's very rare that I'll use it. There's actually better blocks that I use instead of this. Seriously, stop. Oh, I wonder, wonder if that'll break down. Let's it does not appear to be breaking down at all. Oh, yep, it's breaking down. Okay, we're good. Yay, I didn't lose those pieces. Not like it mattered, but yay. All right, let's see what else have we got. We got we got other stuff that we can craft. I'm sure of it. You know, I have not checked on those ducks in a while. All right, so we, we just showed you the Everstone. Let's see, Flicker Habitat will get to illusion blocks. This is kind of what I'm talking about right here. Is it is just an illusion. You don't see the block. Um, will look and function as solid blocks unless the entity attempting to pass through has true sight active. Means that you can't walk through them unless you know unless you're using true sight so this is a good reason to use that mage spell thing and realistically as a one player game you don't really need it honestly you don't but when you're playing online as a multiplayer game then you might want to create these illusion blocks 
and use them. Oh, that's an idea. Why don't we go ahead in the next episode, maybe, let's go ahead and make the mage site and make some illusion blocks and show you what they're used for. Ooh, that's an idea. Maybe I can make this end hallway. And like we can get rid of those doors and just make this an illusion block. The creatures can't come out of it, but I'll be able to pass through it. Oh. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching. As always, a like, a comment, and a share lets me know that you care. See you next time.